In this guide I will tell you everything you need in order to win World War 2 as Germany with ease. Be it defeating the Allies or trading 1 to 50 in Barbarossa, this guide has everything from division templates, tanks and plane designs as well as navy. I also used the crayon map mod which I thought would be funny but it was just painful to edit so... <laughs> I'm not going to use it in the future. We can do our basic research, which is always go down industry and research. And then with our fourth slot, we can do a couple of things. But I think the one that I care the most about is range improvements right now. We're going to go with Messerschmitt to get some better fighters. You can also take the Junkers. The rest is really... I guess Donia is pretty okay as well, but we're not going to worry too much about it. We do have some very cool Mifo builds, which I would like to keep for as long as I can. And usually I built mill factories because like just look at this it takes us a month to build a mill factory like that's just <laughs> but we're gonna go with Sith factories for a year so I'm just gonna do this we can also stack up all the divisions by shift clicking the icon at the top to select all divisions and then right clicking on a general then we press f2 to switch to the navy tab and then shift left click the leftmost anchors in the navy tab and control right click them all into the port in Wilhelmshaven we are going to disband yeah let's just disband the flick smuggler and then we are going to go for Rhineland. We are going to uh, take a look at our navy. I don't really give a shit about all of this crap that Hitler is building. We might as well finish uh, this Panzer Schiff and a few of those destroyers and submarines. I'm gonna bump them down to one because, uh, uh, let's see, early submarine haul. That's a very ass design. <laughs> at least put a second torpedo on it or something bad. But sure, I mean, that's, we can worry about that later. Just gonna build these because because like, look at them, they are almost done. We are also gonna build a couple more convoys. Let's go for like, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna go for infinite and then let's put like three on it. Fighters, Kaz, we don't really care about the planes. We are gonna get some AA. Let's do something like this. Let's make use of all of our tanks that we have. Let's just focus on guns for the rest, just so we can get down our focus tree because we do need guns for Anschluss. I'm not gonna rush Anschluss. And the explanation for it is boring, so just watch the board if you care about it. All right, Mifo builds. We don't really have to worry about the Mifo builds at all. You should always keep them like, you do have Hitler with his 25 PP gain. Right now we get 1.33 PP a day with doing a focus. When we annex Austria, Czechoslovakia and Hugo, we're gonna get more gold. So this all goes down. So I like, guess it's, it's such a good buff. Like I, I would keep it until the end of the game if I could. Like 33%. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, we are ready to go. We are going to build a few more of these cavalry brigades. We can put you on cavalry and we're gonna go with secret police and then we're just gonna say go. While the game runs, we can take a look. We're gonna get Model. Model has brilliant strategist, very good. Bok is always nice with his five attack, but I am gonna go with Witzleben because he's an infantry leader. And then we can take all of those non-infantry units, get them to a different general and for that we can take Bok. Although, let's get a Gromel for it. Didn't really plan on building some tanks but we might as well have some fun with tanks. We have remilitarized and now there's a couple of things we can do. The thing I like to do the most is getting Bormann for more PP gain 2.63 a day. And then I usually just rush down for your plan, get KDF Wagen for another whooping 12 Sith factories and then uh, I usually like to align Romania and Hungary so we get them relatively early. We can also get Halder. Very cool. Army offense gives us some army XP that we will desperately need. And with our range improvements done, we are gonna get mechanical computing as well as radios. If you want to, you can delay the four-year plan a little bit to time it. But we're just gonna get improved machine tools now. All right, let's take a look at our, the rest of our navy here for a minute. I just dragged over all of them and pressed G to stack them. And then we're gonna do something very funky. We're gonna create a new task force, select all the submarines, select it again, and boom. Then we're gonna take Dönitz because Dönitz has his uh, Seawolf, which means he's very good at using subs. And the rest we're just gonna stack under Lutjens. Lutjens is insane. 20% enemy retreat chance and we get more positioning. That is a very good navy guy. As for the navy, there's two ways we can play this. I'm gonna showcase both of them. The strat I usually do is I'm gonna prepare a naval invasion, declare war on the UK and then start a naval invasion and the UK doesn't have boats up so you can just quickly take them out. 
but that is a little bit cheesy and I also want to showcase it if you you're already at war with the UK and then you're like okay how do I invade the UK now I want to showcase that part so I'm gonna build a little bit of a navy if you just want to win World War II you don't need to build a single navy these 40 boats that you have is enough to keep the UK we're gonna shift left click the naval exercises with both of these guys spend a little bit of our fuel and get these guys some navy XP because we are in need of it in the meantime I'm just gonna put it on convoys and to prove how worth it it is to subscribe to this channel I will take a shot of olive oil this is expired <laughs> you can also get Goebbels so you can get war icon early but I am actually going to get Kesselring. You can also get one more on RT now from Tungsten. With that we are going to go with Concentrated Industry. I'm gonna say this every single one of these ultimate guides. Dispersed Industry used to be better. Concentrated is better now because of all the MIO buffs. If you don't have the MIOs then you should still go for Dispersed Industry. As for the MIOs I always just go for the production efficiency buffs. Optimizing is not that important in my opinion. At this point we are also going to get Professional Officer Core for some more army XP. The rest of the army we're just gonna dump them build as many as you can doesn't really matter we don't really care that much about what is in them uh, let's start building uh, mill factories in brandenburg and all of our high infrastructure states and i guess we can get doing it in the meantime we can also give you aggressive assault on model and the navy not that it matters really that much give you a cruiser captain destroyer leader and doing it gets silent hunter loading drill master torpedo expert and then later on we can also get lancer i'm also going to get a bit of rt and aa tech get the naval reform now installed aggression and bolt attack and we can also get uh, acro service and i guess we can also get improved work conditions once and a bit of a mistake on my side because i actually let me go we're gonna dump these guys here and then i'm gonna do area defense all over germany so they spread out because they are starting to get a little bit low on supply as you can see by the symbols they have lost a few guns already probably we lost 112 guns by all of this blunder the rt hurts a little bit the guns don't really matter that much but with that this should be resolved next thing on the list is the logistics companies they're gonna be very handy if we ever have to deal with the soviets which i don't think we will have to like there's so many good focuses here like the um treaty with the ussr and then the molotov ribbentrop pact there's no reason for us to ever go to war with the soviets we have our research slot we can do anschluss which will bump us to 52 percent actually more than that because of world tension and again we're just gonna spam all of our mill factories here there you go that is the crappy the the roach battleship there you go let's get one of these guys ready then let's also get a few of those roach destroyers i'm gonna invest a little bit into those guns here because they're relatively cheap to get right we are going to annex austria now as for the danish we can accept their trade proposal but they're gonna cancel it in two weeks so i'm why i'm gonna invade them for that we can continue going down our tree here but i'm actually gonna go back over to our industry path to get cross combat line romania line hungary and then let's get a bit more AA. We do have a very shiny Altenjäger. I'm just gonna pump some more guys on this. There we go. That is the first of many divisions that we're gonna use. Why are all of my things so shiny? Okay, the Panzer Division. We're gonna use the Motorized. We don't really care about the Panzer Division. Don't care about this one. Okay, so the Schnelle Division is gonna be our Garrison Division because that one doesn't have support equipment. Oh, that's much better. We also need smoke generators if we wanna play a little bit of our Navy. And you know what? I'm also gonna get Excavation. War Economy. You can make the argument that Reichsautobahn is actually pretty good. I'm getting max infrastructure in four of your states. That is just way too much stuff I really want. I'm gonna start with Romania here, just so we can get them down their fascist path as soon as possible. Let's create our holding division. Actually, let's put support. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get all of it anyway. With that, we can start converting you guys into Noel and all of you into this division as well. And then I'm just gonna split you up into 24 stacks. We are also gonna get Schirner. In the meantime, I guess we can also take a look at some of our generals if we're gonna assign. Doesn't matter too much. I care about attack here. I'm gonna get a Grundstadt on the infantry and the model on our offensive guys. We're a bit ahead of schedule, really, compared to historical. We're gonna lose Schacht as soon as we do Sudetenland, so that's why I didn't hire him. The Prince of Terror is pretty okay, even though Himmler is shy today. Yeah, I guess we can get Himmler. And then extensive conscription next thing, as well as one of those concerns is pretty cool. We are going to 
to sell some bombers to Yugoslavia because that honestly doesn't really matter to me. And I like less consumer goods. Let's get one tungsten from Portugal, I guess. Let's just dump into Todd Arty for a little bit. We can already get efficient communications and centralized control. After getting this to Dateland, we are just going to continue pressing for the rest of Czechoslovakia. We are suffering from attrition a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I'm not from the front. I'm just gonna lose a bunch of guns. I guess I'm gonna get engineers already. Our defensive templates are only missing flame tanks now, but apart from that, they are ready. I'm gonna get these guys some cav recon as well. Don't really need to worry about the... Actually, I think we have enough steel. Yeah, we do have enough steel. So we could get the gun if we wanted to. But I guess I'm gonna get the heavy MG as well as survivability studies. And then uh, let's get extensive conscription. As for Czechoslovakia, I usually just get the puppet. That way we get the compliance here. We can also bump you to... Civ oversight should be fine. Yeah. Zero percent target. Then we're gonna do Eastern claims. Let's put a bit more on A as well. We might as well build this front with Poland already. What I did here, I shift clicked the front line button and then we do this and then I control left clicked here. That way we have a combined front line and we don't have this front line. And if you want the explanation, I've already talked about it in every single one of those ultimate guides. So uh, there you have your answer. Actually, I think for France, if you want to attack France early on, I think light tanks are actually better. I usually don't build light tanks, but I guess we can do this. That's just a wonder guy. And oh, you are getting bruised by Henschel. Just gonna funnel a ton into the light tanks. Just so we can also get rid of this stuff. And now things are gonna get very interesting because we can start inviting Hungary. Still needs 6% more for Romania. It is a little bit funky. Sometimes you can get it, sometimes you don't. We're gonna try and get Slovenia now. If they refuse, then so be it. I also wouldn't mind getting Guderian. Even more speed on our tanks. Things are getting spicy with our slots. We have the heavy MGs. And things are gonna get spicy very much indeed now. With those very crappy planes that we can build. I really wanna put armor plates on those guys. But if we do that, then <laughs> they're not gonna move at all. Fuck it! We also need a ton of trucks, which is very handy that we do have so many buildings that we can afford to just throw them all away now. Okay, we can also build some flame tanks now. That's just such a bummer, like suddenly we have 5 billion things that we need. We're just gonna build the crappiest, slowest flame tank. I mean, that's not really the slowest, but the crappiest flame tank that we can build. And I'm actually gonna put it on Henschel. Gives it 10% more speed. We can give Bulgaria a bunch of stuff, but... The downside is that we're gonna lose land then and I don't really want that. And also Bulgaria can have their civil war and that's Bulgaria, so... <sighs> there we go, we can now do a bunch of stuff with Yugoslavia. The thing that I care about most is uh, getting the Croatian puppet. I don't think I've ever seen that! <laughs> that this event fires and you get the chance to annex them. And then if you annex them, they accept it. But if you want to make Croatia, then they refuse. Especially because this event immediately annexes them. A letter from Hitler, you say? Sure, he can annex us, so long as he doesn't release those pesky Croatians. There we go, I guess if we wanted to, we could release Croatia now. But at this point, I really don't want to anymore. Which also means we can now invade... An inv Invite, not invade, Romania. And then we can do German war economy. I mean, integrate war economies. <laughs> I don't really mind the creation puppet if I think about it. Then we don't have to worry about all of this crap getting invaded. Although we still have Mussolini, so I'll have to worry about it anyway. There we go. And then we're gonna train a couple of those. Oh, actually, we do have quite a bit of them. Very nice. Honestly, didn't expect that we would have that many. Also, they are high priority as well. Let's build a radar base here and just free air bases, I guess. And I want CAS, fighters and naval bombers. The only planes that matter. And we're just gonna deploy them. And oh, look at this beautiful range that they have. All right, uh, let's just exercise them once more. Get as many of those mountaineers ready as we can. For the funny haha winning is easy strat, you are gonna prepare a naval invasion into Newcastle. And there we go. We have puppeted German, Hungary and German Romania. Look at our beautiful little country. 
Germany and we can also get Italy which will be a mistake but I guess we can also get Italy and with that we can go for Danzig or war and then I'm gonna put 10 of you on the French border it's actually 12 but I just pressed S once so 10 is enough to hold here I'm gonna put I guess one stack should be fine up here also I'm not gonna call my puppets in so we can make this front smaller and I'm gonna get the tanks up here with the mountaineers we're also going to put the ships on naval invasion support on the two sea zones and from this point onward I am going to start building rubber refineries in order to prepare for sea line instead of mill factories I'm gonna keep those tanks until they're trained which will be after the war actually ah it gets Poland we can deploy them already ah sadly Poland did refuse Danzig which is very weird that shouldn't happen I guess there's only one way forward now which is around the maggot line I am just going to wait until these guys are ready until they are amateurs instead of greens and then let's get those planes over here you can do defense shouldn't really have to worry about polish planes but i'm still just gonna put some fighters up here once we declare war something very curious is gonna happen we're gonna lose all of our rubber which is why i stockpiled a little bit for trucks and all that anyway we are going to declare war on poland for not giving us danzig and i fucked up i should have waited just uh, whatever they have a little bit less stats than after re-watching the footage i actually realized that i unpaused after declaring war and then started the naval invasion which is why the uk put up their votes but it's fine because i wanted to showcase this anyway when how to invade the uk while you're at war if you want to see the easy way then you can just watch any of my other five billion germany guides that i made this far again and there we go here look at this wow boom we're gonna micro a little bit now we're just gonna right click a little bit here in poland with our very fast light tanks they should be able to do their trick if you want to you can also just auto this especially against poland with your tanks there's nothing poland can do like <laughs> look at this we've already taken warsaw <laughs> let's go from glywitz here and a dose <laughs> gets old i love light tanks i don't build them that often because of stats but man they are just so fucking fast let's just take uh, danzig and gdynia so we can get the port and then all of these will be encircled for real for real and let's look at our fronts look at this France is holding perfectly and down here is nothing to worry about either. If we want to we can also call in Italy but I would rather not because that's Mussolini. With the German Swedish trade agreement we should get all of the tanks in here in a minute as well. I am gonna improve relations. I don't think this matters that much but we have the PP to spend. And then I'm also gonna get Fritsch for some attrition bonuses and I'm gonna get these guys in order. I'll just let the AI deal with this. We could clean this up perfectly to have better casualty rates but I don't really care. Ah, come on. The supply is just hurting us too much. Sure, let's just take Katowice. Because I think there's a rail railroad there. Oh, God, I can't see anything. I believe there's a railroad there. But there's too much green. There is not. Sure, let's just build one here. All right, we have the upper. I'm going to get the naval department. At this point, it's also worth it to take your submarines and do some convoy raiding in the Atlantic. But... Um, we are gonna avoid the English channel. I should have disabled the English channel before. <laughs> I just lost all of our hunters. Again, if you want to, you can definitely just blitz Poland. Like, uh, Poland can fall so quickly. But I also like to see number go up here, you know? Like, look at this. 15,000 versus 300,000. And it's only gonna get worse for the Polish people. Right, naval department. We're gonna get the S pills. And I am going to get Herbert Hans Haupt. That's actually pretty cool. But Siebert, Stuart, not a physicist. And with that we can do another attack with our tanks here these guys have planning bonuses except for this guy but i'm just gonna auto this that should be perfectly fine and there we go poland has fallen we also didn't do the stupid uh, agreement where we lose half of poland poland is a little bit uppity so let's take a look i think we have to go for a very oppressive law which is martial law our entire army group is ready to take a look at the dutch they deserve it i'm not even gonna bother with a proper frontier declare war on the dutch and immediately tell the tanks to go let's get commander training and with that the dutch have fallen we are gonna do the same thing with somebody else here we're gonna attack the belgians and immediately we're gonna extend this front by pressing tab and then the tanks can do the rest here we're gonna get rommel now which gives us more stats for the tanks and then we can also get canaris who is actually useful in this game even though that's not really representative 
representative, but hey, it's Hans Weyern. Going through the channel once was not a good idea doing it. I also very intentionally showed off a beginner's mistake that you would do if you were to invade France as Germany. And I certainly didn't do this because I haven't played Germany in like five months. And it is overstacking on the Benelux border. To counteract this, I moved all of my units away from the front, except for one infantry stack. And then I also called in Italy, although that is rather optional. And then when the allies shifted all of their troops away from the front because it's no longer so threatening, I just moved my tanks in there and just breezed through France. Italy is pushing because there was just so many units stacked here. All right, that's your call, Model. We are gonna immediately railroad you here. Stop office plan. You are ready and we're just gonna say go. And with this simple trick, you can defeat the allies. If you don't just stack 100 divisions on the front, then uh, this is very easy. You can form Vichy, but I'm not going to. Wahnsinn! The flight of Rudolf Hess. Uh, I wouldn't really mind it if Italy dealt with all of the pockets that we have here, but I'm just going to do the correct thing, which is I uh, let the AI deal with this. If you wanted to be efficient, you should do the fallback lines on every single port, but I'm not going to. I am too lazy for that. And as always, you can still get the question of Yugoslavia, even though Yugoslavia does not exist. So I will just answer this question. We might as well do one collaboration government in the UK. Let's take a look at France. You can also go on martial law. You can also go on martial law, Belgium. And the Dutch, you can also go on martial law. Hey Luxembourg, have you heard about World War II? You are in it. I'm gonna get my tanks up here. That should be enough for a little Danish blitz. Okay, we have to defend a little bit of stuff here now from all of the bombing. Next order of business is getting a proper navy going, which also means getting a proper fighter going, I guess. Just strap as many heavy MGs on it as you can. Let's also build... That ah, should be fine. Rupertus under the Junkers. I still want a naval... Bo oh god, I didn't get torpedo mountings, huh? Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Because I don't have air ground radar. What the fuck? That should make our fighters a lot stronger. Let's also get a little bit of Blitzkrieg doctrine. And I think the UK is justifying... Oh, no, the, the, the Soviet Union. Oh, right, because we have Poland. Oh, no, uh, I think it's because of Bessarabia. I guess we'll have a two-front war. Not to worry. I can deal with that. After Afghanistan, I can deal with anything. <laughs> I think the UK ran out of oil. Ha, huh, I guess I'll take it. Ah, you know what? Let's make it fun. I can just quickly show you. There we go. We have landed here. We are gonna land in Newcastle. I'm gonna do some support attacking. I'm gonna use this guy to move here. These guys can go here. At this point, you have one. I would usually just send another stack here. One stack up here. Draw fronts and just let it go on auto, which I've showcased like five billion times on this channel already. So I'm not going to do it this time. We're gonna probably do it later anyway. At this point, we have most of the things that are interesting in our focus tree. So I'm just getting the naval dock yards just in case the war against the UK takes a bit longer than I'd like it to. And then we're gonna declare war on Denmark and we are immediately gonna declare war on Iceland. Because Iceland is a puppet of Denmark, we can declare war on Iceland. And if we do declare war on Iceland, then they're not gonna break free. Now, as for Denmark, we could puppet them, but that's less land, so... And then they can't backstab us. The Danish war is very simple. You just walk into them. Oh, Denmark didn't even join, so we do get a navy. The Peter scum. Yes. So a couple of things happened here, which allows us to invade the UK. Number one, we have more ships, which isn't really that big of a difference, even though Italy also helps a little bit with our ships here. The big difference is that we have more naval intel from having our spy here in the UK. If we annexed Romania, we could have kept Bessarabia. It's not a huge deal, like there's not that much stuff here, but it's just my honor. Anyway, I guess we can worry about the Soviets later. The UK put up their boats, but it's too late now. I mean, they sent more boats in here, but it's too late now. We are gonna land in Newcastle, spread them out as much as you can while you still have the time before 5 billion allied divisions arrive here. Then I'm gonna dump Model down here, which could be dangerous if they get intercepted here. And also supply. And I'm immediately just gonna let this auto. Let's just take a look. We could wait another 60 days for the collaboration government. Just gonna micro a little bit. Just hopefully take London. But I don't wanna take out the UK completely. We'll stop up here. We still only have four divisions up here. Or again, only have four divisions up here. Italy demands Dalmatia. I don't really give a shit about you, Mussolini. And that is personal. They should probably capitulate as soon as we get the collab government. Unless we're getting pushed back too much here. There we go. Collaboration government is ready. Just gonna check if Mussolini took anything. And then we're gonna contest whatever he did. There we go. Mussolini he lost a million men and he got New South Wales for it. I would feel sorry about him, but he is bald, so nothing to worry about there. Just gonna seal a few boats.
to you before you send them to the bottom of the sea. And there we go. Who are you hiding from? The UK is dead. I'm just gonna put everyone back on secret police. UK on Sith Oversight. That is important. Check on Sith Oversight and the rest. Nothing to worry about really. Oh, right. We can also improve national spirit as well as uh, deal with Barbarossa. That sucks now. I guess I'm just gonna build Sith factories so we have more factory power. Right now there's not anything that's really tickling my balls. Another thing I did in order to prepare for Barbarossa is I got two full stacks of light tanks out. Ideally you should switch to medium tanks at this point but I didn't want to bother with creating a new division template so I stuck with light tanks. And usually when I invade the Soviet Union I use two field marshals stacked to the brim with infantry but I didn't do this this game because I kind of was too lazy to do that. It is very helpful to have two field marshals once you reach the Urals. Okay Stalin, uh, I guess we are gonna do this manually then. Let's just build. Five billion of those on the front. Gader believes that the British can best be defeated through a policy of surface raiding. Bad news, Gader. The British have been defeated. But I guess I'll take the 150 Navy XP, my friend. Just have to find out what a carrier is. We can also get Gürging now for the air superiority. Might as well put some AA here. It shouldn't really matter, but if the AA can strike down two planes, then I guess it's worth it. Because we have 600 factories, there's nothing we can do with this crap anymore. We're also going to deploy all of our fighters that we can and train them to level 3 via shift left clicking the exercise button. We're gonna declare war on the Soviets. The Soviets have started some bombing raids, but that's fine. I'm just gonna get some fighters back here. We're taking down 13, but apparently there's zero enemy fighters here. I guess I'll have to speak with Gürging. What's up with that? Well, I still have t only five factories on cars, right? Yikes. That is, I, I'm such a dummy. Uvu. There we go. Just got a bunch more on the Hubertus. That's just 900 crappy cars. Alan, stop it, please. It's never gonna get boring and old. Just like the Soviets on the border. I'm just gonna let the Soviets grind up a little bit here. Officers begin a withdrawal from Finland. What? I didn't send a single division there. Why do I get negative stuff? Weekly man. <laughs> I'm gonna lose more men in this stupid event that I didn't take a part in than in the war against the Soviets. Fuck this. I'm never gonna invite Finland for anything ever again. Two million versus 70k? I can't. I don't give a shit about you Mussolini. No matter how many times you ask. I'm just gonna get resistance target. <laughs> What's the point of anything here? Doesn't matter at all. Iran. We can probably invite them in a minute. But even if I can, I'm not going to. That would just allow them to call Italy and all such and I'd rather see this number go up even more because like 3 million for 80k that's I, I that is probably a new record and like I'm not even using like nukes or something I don't know what the AI is doing oh fuck I forgot about Norway sure take it fuck am I supposed to do with Norway Ooh, we've already lost 100,000 men should get to field hospital soon I guess why are you up here with tanks in mountainous north of Norway that is like the absolute worst terrain you can pick in any of those values. War support is stripping. Apparently they don't like that we are just killing every single Soviet that's alive. So let's just do a little bit of propaganda. My favorite strat, we are just gonna build a fuck ton of supply hubs in Romania, Hungary and Slovakia. We're just gonna get them nice and soft and ready. We just have three divisions on every single tile here. And that is apparently enough. Seven million was... Oh, Jesus. I just want to stop and attack the Soviets, but like, they're making it so easy. I have a single field marshal on the front. Ooh, adaptable. I'm just sitting here. I'm not even microing the planes. Huber, you can go to Vladivostok. No, I'm gonna get Romanian divisions now. I don't want stupid Romanian divisions. Grandma from Sovietstan, we're just gonna send you over to Vladivostok as well. Stalin. Come on. I know role-playing the Sonso front is fun, but at some point you have to realize that it's not gonna work. Come on. We have zero percent intel on them. What the fuck? I didn't even build forts here. I love how it just shoots up to 300 <laughs> and then 400 and it just drops down again. So it's are pushing for two seconds and then oh god this is bad and then they're stopping. Iran is still alive. Come on Iran please fall then. Oh no wait. Please don't fall. Fuck. I forgot about India. All right then. I guess all good things must come to an end. End. Apart from Soviet manpower, I guess that thing does not have to come to an end. All right, let's do collaboration government in the Soviets with you and you. And then the grandma we can put on quiet intel. White peace. I think, yep, they are puppet. 
Shit. Uh, they might still be able to make it in time. Coping, 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 coping. This is probably gonna be very expensive to defend here compared to the rest. All right, I'm gonna push them back just a smidge so we get our India back. And then if the Soviets wanna push us here, I'll let them. Hirohito, come on. You didn't have to worry about anything in this game. All right, Soviets, you have not taken a single tile apart from India, I guess. So do you wanna, I don't know, call it a draw? <laughs> oh. Oh yes, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Soviets want to dance. Oh my lord. At some point I will learn how to drink. Once the AI will learn how to actually deal with anything here. With that, he's down to 1k. Really nothing to worry about anymore. Admittedly, getting the last 1000 fighters is gonna be very cringe because of how air combat works. Because only three of our fighters can attack one of their fighters. So even though we have 6000 there, we can only use 3000. My friend is back, I don't know how, but apparently he snuck into this game as well. We'll potentially see him three more times. Let's just end this tour. We've had fun. I've shown you everything there is to know about Hearts of Iron. Once we've broken through the entrenchment, the rest just crumbles like Hitler promised. The whole rotten structure. Ah, we just right click here. China? That seems like. Oh! Whoa. Yeah, that's the Chinese Civil War. Model. Wie wär's mit einem Ausflug in Moskva? Was sagst du dazu, mein Freundle? Oh, actually, it's very expensive, this push. It's also a full frontal offensive with light tanks. Hey, there's no strategy here. I'm not even microing planes or anything. As I said, like, there's not even units here, so this tank can just drive and probably get encircled. Actually, let's just take Len Leningrad. Snipe some VPs. I don't think the Soviets saw this coming. The capture of Leningrad from behind. I don't want to send all the tanks over here, so I'm just gonna send one stack over here, I guess. Because the fronts are very fragile. Ah! Wait. What? That's where so much damage is coming from. Mongolia just encircled all of our units. An entire stack in India. I guess I should have seen it coming after the no-China policy came in, but I didn't really pay attention to that. All right, so uh, let's cut off Ukraine, I guess. Should also be a decent chunk of the Soviet army. Ah! encirclements. We also have to take out the PRC, but once we have the Soviets, I'll call it there. Because a lot of things happen in this game that usually don't happen or that are not relevant to German World War II tactics. Ah, uh, let me take Stalingrad. Come on. You know, not having medium tanks actually hurts me quite a bit here. What the fuck just happened here? Wait a minute. Hold. I'm cooking. Okay. Uh... That's a good meal. God, I love how stupid the AI is. Remember that part where I said it would be very useful to have two field marshals when you're invading the Soviet Union and you reach the Urals? Yeah. Yeah. The little tank that could. No, you got encircled. I wanted to tank into Moscow. That's the cool thing about light tanks. They are very good at getting encircled because you just send them somewhere. There. You right click and boom. <laughs> Look at this. They're jet powered. That should be it. There we go. And if you like this guide, you can also watch this guide where I played as the Soviet Union and we got 450 factories by the time Barbarossa started. And I accidentally got every single Soviet Union achievement.